All right. Minimalist living. Okay, for those of you who didn't listen the last time, I was making fun of those people that live in small houses. Not that it's a bad thing to do. I think it's a great thing to do. But actually going into that house and having to listen to that person fucking sit there like they cracked the code of living. I don't know. I forget what I said. I probably said something fucked up. And I imagine this is somebody who lives in a little house. Going to give me shit. All right. Dear Billy Acetate. Uh, I heard you shitting on tiny homes a couple of podcasts ago. As an owner of a fabulous 400 square foot tiny home, I was triggered. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry that I got 99% of America. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry that I and 99% of America can't afford your 4,000 square foot old house. Hey, buddy, buddy, I was you. Okay, that I just didn't accept a fucking tiny house. Go write some jokes and get on. Stop acting like I'm some trust fund kid. Um, he goes, I have everything I ever needed consolidated into one small area. This is why I don't want to go into these people's houses. If you came into my house, I wouldn't sit there and tell, talk to you about the square footage and all the stuff I had. I would ask you what you want to drink. This is, you're proving my point. If I went into your fucking house, I'd have to sit there and listen to you telling me how fucking great it is the whole time. Uh, minimalist living isn't just about housing. It's a lifestyle. See, see, see what I said? I share a smart car with my wife and I own, I only own three outfits of clothing. Even my dog is small. Uh, let me guess. You probably waste food and are too good for leftovers. (laughs) Dude, let me tell you something. I am a fucking animal. My wife gives me shit. I go into the goddamn fridge like a fucking bear. You know, I was on my way to eat something, and there was a little salmon cake left in this little sad plastic bag. I'm like, that might be going bad. I don't give a shit. I don't want to waste it. But I just fucking ate it, and it tasted like shit, and I still finished it. So fuck you and your little fucking house and your oversized ego. Um, Anyway, how about you start? You know, if everybody's like you, then little houses are for quitters. Um, how about you start thinking about the environment and your overall impact? Why don't you go break down some more boxes for Nia and leave us minimalists alone? (laughs) Ah, shit, sir. I'm sure now that you have, you know, only three outfits, you have time to sit around and think about what your dream is. And why don't you go after it? Okay. That right there is the exact I literally said on the podcast, I wouldn't want to go into some guy's little fucking house because I'd have to listen to his fucking ideology. And then you send me an email. I was making fun of the ideology, not that you're doing it. At what point did I did I put my fucking house in your house's face? I didn't do it. (laughs) I love when that happens. Come on, I want to hear from more of you little house fucking holier-than-thou fucking assholes. I love how you think because I live in this fucking house that I don't... You don't even want my house even looks like that you think that I don't fucking recycle. <laughs> anyway. Any shit I don't want, I just bring it over to the fucking homeless people. Or I sell it on eBay. You don't know me, you fucking dickhead. You're in this little ass fucking house and all of a sudden you're better than me. Fuck you. All right. Enjoy your walk-in closet. Go fuck yourself.